Ava got arrested, y'all. I said, mm, mm, mm. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chessie for General Hospital, August 6, 2024. Okay, y'all, so first thing for let me know down below what y'all thought of the episode. Secondly, look, did y'all see the photos that they showed? I said, I thought she grabbed her arm. I know they did a flashback. First of all, it looked like she grabbed her arm, first of all. Then the flashback that Ava had, it looked like she had pushed her. And then these photos on today's episode, I was like, it looked like she pushed her. So they arrested her. I said, uh, 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 should have told the truth. Should have told the truth. I, I don't think it would have did her no good regardless. I guess we're going to start there because we also got to talk about the fact that they found the bag. I said, now she knew doggone well they was going to find them bags. Once she got arrested or he took her in, you know, she got questioned and everything. They kept asking her, is there anything you keeping from us? They asked her about the bags. She over here talking about some, um, Carla kicked them out, so he was just storing his bags. I said, they also got photos of her and John. They should have photos of her and John, too. Not that that has anything to do with the case, but, yeah, they know about the bags. I said, okay, they more than likely have uh, Christina uh, clothes for evidence as well, right? I said her fingerprints to it or her uh, DNA or whatever you want to call it should have been on the, her shirt too because they showed her grabbing her. Let's, she grabbed her arm. I don't know. Did she grab her arm? But the way they showed on the photos, it like she pushed the girl out the window. I said maybe Jason just saved her life. Maybe he just saved her life for real because Sonny would have went after her, especially once he got those photos. But okay, look. Um, Ava was getting questioned again. Scott finally showed up. He finally showed up. He don't be caring who he represent, does he? <laughs> he already told me she ends. He gonna go talk to a judge. I knew they had showed her behind bars, and I think Trina's supposed to go talk to her. I wonder if Christina is gonna say what actually happened and end up clearing her or what. We'll see. But yeah, that's why I was like, okay, can they still charge her? I was like, I was wondering that could they still charge her even if Christina was like she didn't push me. I tripped over the bag. And at that point, Ava, I mean, it was too late. She had already got arrested. But yeah, Jason was the one to show the photos to Anna. I thought he was going to be the one to save Sonny, but he was not. Morgan actually ended up saving. Well, Sonny saved himself, but he was seeing Morgan. But basically, Morgan was telling him that he still got life to live. His kids still need him. His grandkids still need him. And that's when, you know, they end up showing the uh, rooftop or whatever, and he was gone. Then they show him going into Kevin's office. Kevin was finna get up out of there and celebrate his birthday. <laughs> I said, you ain't going nowhere now. Look, I thought for sure Jason was going to save uh, Sonny because, you know, they show him with Sonny, standing beside Sonny at the hospital. I guess that was the hospital. That's what it looked like. But, yeah, he went in, and he told Kevin that he need help. He don't know what's wrong with him. He can't deal, deal with it anymore. And I said, yeah, finally. And I said, I think they're going to have to test his blood to see what's going on. But at this point, Valentine gone. Well, Ava's still right there, you know. Can she get charged for messing with his meds? And another thing I just thought about when I was talking about the meds or whatever is Valentine and Jason. Jason didn't tell. Jason hasn't told anybody. Anna, the only person that knows, aside from, you know, Asia Jun or whatever, about Valentine, right? I said, so I'm guessing Jason don't fully know what's going on with Sonny. I think if he did, he would definitely not have let Valentine leave. And also, um, I seen a lot of fans come in and saying how Valentine could have told Anna, could have told Anna, you know, what was going on with the meds or whatever. She was already letting him go free anyway. And I was like, yeah, true that. But he wasn't. He wasn't going to let him know nothing. Look, I skipped the part. So everybody was at the hospital. And that's when, um, who was that? Was that Sam asking? She was asking where Blaze was. She was like, she should be there. Where's Sonny? And then Molly told what happened. So Dante went and called Jason and let him know what's going on because he was at Carly's or whatever. And that's when Jason started looking for him. He ended up calling Brick. And that's when Brick was like, okay, Sonny don't trust him no more. So he don't know if he can send the photos. But then he was like, he protecting Sonny and his family like he always has. And so Brick sent the photos. And as soon as he sent the photos, Jason left. And when he left and went to the hospital, I said, you, you supposed to be at the hospital saving. <laughs> I said, you supposed to be at the hospital saving. Sonny, what you doing at the doggone police station? But yeah, he told Anna he could trust her. But yeah, they always at the hospital. They wait. Sam finally arrived. She's upset. She said, um, she's upset at Ava for everything that's going on. I don't know, y'all. How y'all think things gonna go between Molly and uh Christina? Look, Christina woke up again. But yeah, everybody was at the hospital. At first the doctor was saying that Christina was gonna have to have a uh what's it called? A hysterectomy or whatever. And Molly was worried. She was like, What if Karen and our baby is the reason why she can't have her own? But they end up coming out saying that for now, um she they ain't gonna do the surgery. Oh, what else happened? Carly and Jason, they was talking about Sonny and her freedom. They were saying how, you know, they don't know who responsible 
And I thought Jason was going to tell her that Mr. Brennan did. But he didn't tell her nothing. People are speculating that Mr. Brennan going to come back to town and him and Carly going to have a romantic uh, relationship or whatever. We'll see. We'll see. But I definitely think he going to reach out one of these days. Or either she going to find out she going to reach out. Because y'all know she could never stay away from him. <laughs> she was always going to the doggo jail. But yeah, um, they was talking about Sonny. Donna ends up coming and saying, you know, Sonny missed out on the play date. Sonny missed out on the play date or whatever. I was reading it. Sorry, I got distracted. Or whatever. And that's when Carly was just talking to her about Avery. Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. I said, kids see everything. I always tell people that. I said, no matter what they're doing, they on the phone, they playing the game, they see everything. And they hear everything, too, even if they say they don't. But Donna ends up saying how she knows. She mentions that Carly and Sonny met at each other. I said, see? And I think she thought that was the reason why he didn't show up. But no, nah, good thing he get going to get help, though. I said, yeah, test his blood. Test his blood. I wonder how long it's going to take for them to find out, though. TJ told Molly that he wanted to pick a name for the baby. And she was like, a name? And he was like, basically, the baby needs a name so they can have a proper barrier for the baby or whatever. And I think it was either that moment or a moment where uh, Sam then was talking. And I was like, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I said, so they didn't show the baby? I was thinking about what was that on? Uh, was it the bold and beautiful where uh, they told Hope her baby was gone? Her baby, well, she ain't fall or whatever. But yeah, they told her her baby was gone. And that's when they switched the babies or whatever. And they came, brought the baby's hood. And I was like, why they didn't show that baby? Do y'all think it's going to, I think I asked y'all that yesterday. Do y'all think it's going to be a situation where later they find out, oh, the baby was alive. They switched the babies or they did something. Because y'all know one thing they going to do is bring somebody back to life. <laughs> <laughs> over here putting people on ice and stuff <laughs> they gonna bring it back i don't know y'all then you know the whole what was that uh surrogate name andrea i think her name was andrea or something i was thinking that her baby was gonna come back because she was acting suspicious she was acting very suspicious but yeah let me see if it's anybody else i already talked about anna now laura came to bring kevin to cook for his birthday they were celebrating he was on his way out i already talked about sunny came said he need help something's going on with him but yeah, Ava over here, I said she over here trying to outsmart people and stuff, lying and stuff. I said, you could have just told the truth. I don't think it would have helped you, especially with those photos they got. Didn't they say they got video too? But yeah, I was like, look, she just kept lying. Then she was like, oh, I forgot everything happened so fast. And she kept mentioning how Christina came in there. But the photo definitely showed that Christina was upset. But that's it, y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how girls today. Be safe.